Lithuania is a country in Northern Europe on the eastern shore of the Baltic Sea. Lithuania is a member of the European Union, NATO, and several other organizations. About 3 million people live in the country. The official language is Lithuanian which is spoken by more than 82% of the people. Vilnius is the capital and largest city. The colors of the Lithuanian flag are yellow, at the top, for the sun, green, in the middle, for the fields, and red, at the bottom, for the blood of Lithuanians fighting for its independence. History. Lithuania began to turn into a country in the 7th-9th centuries from Baltic Nations Group. The Balts, the ancestors of Lithuanians and Latvians, came to area between Namunas, Dagava rivers and the Baltic Sea, from a supposed original homeland of the Proto-Indo-European languages. Many scientists think they came there sometime in the 3rd millennium BC. The traditional date of the beginning of the country is 1236 when the Lithuanians won the Battle of Shole, Battle of Sun. Lithuania, at that time, the Grand Duchy of Lithuania, made a treaty with Poland in 1569. The country was taken over by the Russian Empire in 1795. It got back its independence on February 16, 1918. It was taken over by the Soviet Union on June 16, 1940, by Nazi Germany from 1941 to 1944 and again the Soviet Union from 1944 to 1990. Lithuania re-declared its independence on March 11, 1990. Currently Lithuania is an independent, semi-presidential, democratic republic. Politics. Lithuania has been a member of NATO and the European Union since 2004. Lithuania is a semi-presidential republic, that restored its independence and democracy in 1990. Since then, very important reforms were made and Lithuania is now declared as a democratic state that grants the human rights. The constitution that was adopted in 1992 declares that the leader of the country is the president, who must be elected to take office. The elections are held every five years. If the president breaks their oath, they can be forced to resign by the parliament. The president also represents Lithuania abroad and is the commander-in-chief. The legislative power of Lithuania is called the Seimas, or parliament. There are 141 members of Seimas who are elected for four-year terms. Seimas passes the laws that must be executed by the government, that is formed in Seimas and it must be accepted by the president. The prime minister is set and fired by the president. The justice is under the power of the courts. The Supreme Court in Lithuania is the Constitutional Court. Administrative Subdivisions. Lithuania is divided into 10 counties, 60 municipalities and 500 elderates. The counties are. Alatis County Kanas County Klaipeda County Marahampol County Panavesis County Shole County Torage County Telsiai County Utina County Vilnius County The county governor rules the county. He or she must be appointed by the central government. Municipalities are governed by the municipal councils that are elected for four-year terms. The head of a municipality is the mayor. The elderates are governed by the elders. The elders are appointed by the municipal councils. Geography. Lithuania is located in northern eastern Europe and covers an area of 65,200 square kilometers, 25,200 square miles. It lies between latitudes 53 degrees and 57 degrees north, and mostly between longitudes 21 degrees and 27 degrees east, part of the Curonian spit lies west of 21 degrees. It has around 99 kilometers, 61.5 miles, of sandy coastline only about 38 kilometers, 24 miles, of which face the open Baltic Sea, less than the other two Baltic Sea countries. The rest of the coast is sheltered by the Curonian Sand Peninsula. Lithuania's major warm water port, Klaipeda, lies at the narrow mouth of the Curonian Lagoon, Lithuanian, Kursiu Marios, a shallow lagoon extending south to Kaliningrad. The country's main and largest river, the Namunas River, and some of its tributaries carry international shipping. Lithuania lies at the edge of the North European plain. Its landscape was smoothed by the glaciers of the last ice age, and is a combination of moderate lowlands and highlands. Its highest point is Oxtoyas Hill at 294 meters, 965 feet, in the eastern part of the country. The terrain features numerous lakes, Lake Vistitis, for example, and wetlands, and a mixed forest zone covers over 33% of the country. Druxiai is the largest, Tauranyas is the deepest and Asveja is the longest lake in Lithuania. 
After a re-estimation of the boundaries of the continent of Europe in 1989, Jean-Georges Affholder, a scientist at the Institut Géographique National, French National Geographic Institute, determined that the geographic center of Europe was in Lithuania, at 54 degrees 54 and 25 degrees 19, e, 54.900 degrees north 25.317 degrees east, 54.900, 25.317, per Nuskis, center of gravity, 26 kilometers, 16 miles, north of Lithuania's capital city of Vilnius. Affholder accomplished this by calculating the center of gravity of the geometrical figure of Europe. Climate. Lithuania's climate, which ranges between maritime and continental, is relatively mild. Average temperatures on the coast are minus 2.5 degrees Celsius, 27.5 degrees Fahrenheit, in January and 16 degrees Celsius, 61 degrees Fahrenheit, in July. In Vilnius the average temperatures are minus 6 degrees Celsius, 21 degrees Fahrenheit, in January and 17 degrees Celsius, 63 degrees Fahrenheit, in July. During the summer, 20 degrees Celsius, 68 degrees Fahrenheit, is common during the day while 14 degrees Celsius, 57 degrees Fahrenheit, is common at night. In the past, temperatures have reached as high as 30 or 35 degrees Celsius, 86 or 95 degrees Fahrenheit. Some winters can be very cold. Minus 20 degrees Celsius, minus 4 degrees Fahrenheit, occurs almost every winter. Winter extremes are minus 34 degrees Celsius, minus 29 degrees Fahrenheit, in coastal areas and minus 43 degrees Celsius, minus 45 degrees Fahrenheit, in the east of Lithuania. The average annual precipitation is 800 mm, 31.5 in, on the coast, 900 mm, 35.4 in, in the Samogitia Highlands and 600 mm, 23.6 in, in the eastern part of the country. Snow occurs every year, it can snow from October to April. In some years sleet can fall in September or May. The growing season lasts 202 days in the western part of the country and 169 days in the eastern part. Severe storms are rare in the eastern part of Lithuania but common in the coastal areas. The longest records of measured temperature in the Baltic area cover about 250 years. The data show warm periods during the latter half of the 18th century, and that the 19th century was a relatively cool period. An early 20th century warming culminated in the 1930s, followed by a smaller cooling that lasted until the 1960s. A warming trend has persisted since then. Lithuania experienced a drought in 2002, causing forest and peat bog fires. The country suffered along with the rest of northwestern Europe during a heat wave in the summer of 2006. Environment. After the restoration of Lithuania's independence in 1990, the Aplinkos Apsugos Istatimas Environmental Protection Act, was adopted already in 1992. The law provided the foundations for regulating social relations in the field of environmental protection, established the basic rights and obligations of legal and natural persons in preserving the biodiversity inherent in Lithuania, ecological systems and the landscape. Lithuania agreed to cut carbon emissions by at least 20% of 1990 levels by the year 2020 and by at least 40% by the year 2030, together with all European Union members. Also, by 2020 at least 20%, 27% 20 by 2030, of country's total energy consumption should be from the renewable energy sources. In 2016, Lithuania introduced a specially effective container deposit legislation, which resulted in collecting 92% of all packagings in 2017. Lithuania does not have high mountains and its landscape is dominated by blooming meadows, dense forests and fertile fields of cereals. However, it stands out by the abundance of hillforts, which previously had castles where the ancient Lithuanians burned altars for pagan gods. Lithuania is a particularly watered region with more than 3,000 different sizes, lengths and forms lakes. Most of them lies in northeastern Lithuania. Many rivers are also flowing in Lithuania, most notably the longest Namunas. Forest has long been one of the most important natural resources in Lithuania. Forests occupy one-third of the country's territory and timber-related industrial production accounts for almost 11% industrial production in the country. Lithuania has five national parks, 30 regional parks, 402 nature reserves, 668 state-protected natural heritage objects. 
Lithuania is ranked fifth, second to Sweden. First three places are not granted, in Climate Change Performance Index, CCPI. Biodiversity. Lithuanian ecosystems include natural and semi-natural, forests, bogs, wetlands, meadows, and anthropogenic, agrarian and urban, ecosystems. Among natural ecosystems, forests are particularly important to Lithuania, covering 33% of the country's territory. Wetlands, raised bogs, fens, transitional mires, etc., cover 7.9% of the country, with 70% of wetlands having been lost due to drainage and peat extraction between 1960 and 1980. Changes in wetland plant communities resulted in the replacement of moss and grass communities by trees and shrubs, and fens not directly affected by land reclamation have become drier as a result of a drop in the water table. There are 29,000 rivers with a total length of 64,000 kilometers in Lithuania, the Namunas River Basin occupying 74% of the territory of the country. Due to the construction of dams, approximately 70% of spawning sites of potential catadromous fish species have disappeared. In some cases, river and lake ecosystems continue to be impacted by anthropogenic eutrophication. Agricultural land comprises 54% of Lithuania's territory, roughly 70% of that is arable land and 30% meadows and pastures, Approximately 400,000 hectares of agricultural land is not farmed, and acts as an ecological niche for weeds and invasive plant species. Habitat deterioration is occurring in regions with very productive and expensive lands as crop areas are expanded. Currently, 18.9% of all plant species, including 1.87% of all known fungi species and 31% of all known species of lichens, are listed in the Lithuanian Red Data Book. The list also contains 8% of all fish species. Lithuania's dark forests are teeming with wildlife. The populations have rebounded as the hunting became more restricted and urbanization allowed replanting forests, forests already tripled in size since their lows. Currently, Lithuania has approximately 250,000 larger wild animals or 5 per each square kilometer. The most prolific large wild animal in every part of Lithuania is the roe deer, with 120,000 of them. They are followed by boars, 55,000. Other ungulates are the deer, approximately 22,000, fallow deer, approximately 21,000, and the largest one, moose, approximately 7,000. Among the Lithuanian predators, foxes are the most common, approximately 27,000. Wolves are, however, more ingrained into the mythology as there are just 800 in Lithuania. Even rarer are the lynxes, approximately 200. The large animals mentioned above exclude the rabbit, approximately 200,000 of which may live in the Lithuanian forests. Economy. Agricultural products and food made 18.3%, chemical products and plastics 17.8%, machinery and appliances 15.8%, mineral products 14.7%, wood and furniture 12.5% of exports. According to data from 2016, more than half of all Lithuanian exports go to seven countries including Russia, 14%, Latvia, 9, 9%, Poland, 9, 1%, Germany, 7, 7%, Estonia, 5, 3%, Sweden, 4, 8%, and United Kingdom, 4, 3%. Export generated 74% of Lithuania's GDP in 2016. Agriculture. Agriculture in Lithuania dates to the Neolithic period, about 3000 to 1000 BC. It has been one of Lithuania's most important occupations for many centuries. In 2016, agricultural production was made for 2.29 billion euros in Lithuania. Cereal crops occupied the largest part of it, 5,709, 7 tons. Other significant types were sugar beets, 933, 9 tons, rapeseed, 392, 5 tons, and potatoes, 340, 2 tons. Products for 4,385, 2 million euros were exported from Lithuania to the foreign markets, of which products for 3,165, 2 million euros were Lithuanian origin. Export of agricultural and food products accounted for 19.4% of all exports of goods from the country. Organic farming is constantly becoming more popular in Lithuania. The status of organic growers and producers in the country is granted by the public body ECOAGROS. 
In 2016, there were 2,539 such farms that occupied 225,541, 78 hectares. Of these, 43, 13% were cereals, 31, 22% were perennial grasses, 13, 9% were leguminous crops and 11, 75% were others. Tourism. Statistics of 2016 showed that 1.49 million tourists from foreign countries visited Lithuania and spent at least one night in the country. The largest number of tourists came from Germany, 174, 8,000, Belarus, 171, 9,000, Russia, 150, 6,000, Poland, 148, 4,000, Latvia, 134, 4,000, Ukraine, 84, 0,000, and the UK, 58, 2000. Demographics. About 80% of people in Lithuania are Lithuanians. There are large national minorities. The Poles, 6.3%, mainly live in Vilnius County, which was taken over by Poland in 1920. The Russians, 5.1%, mainly live in Vilnius County and Utina County, as workers at the Ignalina nuclear plant. The Belarusians, 1.1%, most of them live in Vilnius County. Lithuanian is spoken by 82% of the people and it is the only official language. Polish is used mostly in Vilnius County where Polish politicians are elected to represent the Polish minority. The documents and street names must be in Lithuanian. The biggest cities are Vilnius, 542,287 people, Kaunas, 358,107 people, and Klaipeda, 185,899 people. Education. The nursery schools and the kindergartens are the first level education forms. However, they are not compulsory. The children start attending the primary school at age 7, where educational programs last for four years, then they must start attending secondary school, 5th to 10th grades. After finishing 8th or 10th grade, the student can continue learning at the high school or choose courses at the vocational college. The students who finish the high school can join colleges and universities. Higher education is free for the students whose annual median of grades is 8 or higher. The others have to pay 500 litas per semester at least. The higher education schools are universities and colleges. The main universities are. Vilnius University, the oldest university in Northeast Europe, founded in 1579, University of Vytautas the Great, in Kaunas. The University of Technology of Gediminas, in Vilnius, the Klaipeda University. You can subscribe to support our channel and turn on the notification bell to be notified of new videos.